In this video, we'll show you how to troubleshoot Aruba Instant On Access Points. Please note that the Access Points, or APs, can take up to 8 minutes to fully boot up. Also, during the initial setup, the APs will try to download and install the latest firmware from the internet, which will cause another reboot, which means it can take over 20 minutes before they are ready to be discovered. So please be patient and pay attention to the LED lights during the boot up process. If the LED light doesn't light up within a few seconds of you plugging in the device, you will need to check that you have provided an appropriate power source for it. Here is the list of supported power sources for all APs in the current range. If you are using a power adapter, make sure all cables are firmly plugged in, that is, the power cord to the wall socket, power cord to the power adapter, and power adapter to the AP. Also, make sure that the wall socket is on and is delivering power, that is, tested with another device that you are certain works. If you are using a power injector, again, make sure that all cables are firmly plugged in and that the power socket is actually delivering power. Also, make sure that you have connected the Ethernet cables correctly. The data in port on the power injector connects to the switch, and the data and power out port connects to the AP. If you are using a PoE switch, make sure that the switch is actually powered up and the Ethernet cable is firmly plugged into both the switch and the AP. Also, refer to switch documentation and confirm that the switch is actually a PoE switch and that the port you are using to connect to the AP is PoE capable. The last thing to check is that the switch has sufficient power left in its PoE budget, especially if multiple PoE devices are plugged in. To eliminate this as a potential issue, unplug other PoE devices from the switch or log in and check for any error log references to power availability. A blinking green light means that the device is booting up. Please know that it can take up to 8 minutes for it to be ready or even over 20 minutes if it needs to download and reboot to install the latest firmware. If the LED is alternating between green and amber, that means that the AP is ready for discovery. You should start your Aruba Instant On smartphone app and follow the wizard to set up your network as described in our how-to videos. If the LED is not flashing green and amber, then you will need to continue troubleshooting. A solid amber light means that the AP has experienced a problem and that you are unable to proceed. Since there are multiple ways to onboard your Aruba Instant On AP into the cloud portal, we will break up this section into three typical scenarios. In scenario 1, we are simply onboarding the AP onto an existing network with internet access. Make sure your network has a working DHCP server and an active internet connection. Also, make sure that the ports 80, 443 and 123 are opened on your firewall. The easiest way to test this is to plug your laptop into the same port you're using to connect your AP and see if you get an IP and that you can browse the internet. Remember, all Aruba Instant On devices need an active internet connection in order to get discovered and onboarded to the management portal. Scenario 2. Let's say you're using your AP to serve as the router. This also requires that you obtain a DHCP address from your modem and that you have a working internet connection. In case your internet connection requires you to log in, please refer to this guide. The link will also be provided in the video description. Scenario 3. Let's say you're extending your network wirelessly with an additional AP. Make sure that your remote AP is powered up using the power adapter or power injector and is not connected to a switch, otherwise the discovery will fail. You can connect to a switch after the initial discovery and setup has completed. Also, make sure that your remote AP is within wireless range of your primary AP, because if your remote AP is too far away, you won't be able to discover it. The best way to check this is to test the wireless connectivity to the primary AP from the proposed location for the remote AP using another device, like a smartphone or a laptop. If all else fails, try the factory reset procedure. In order to factory reset your AP manually, you will need to locate the reset button. On an AP11D, the reset button is located on the side, above the USB port. On an AP17, the reset button is found behind the LED light cover. Please note you will require a size 8 Allen key to access it. On APs 11, 12 and 15, the reset button is located at the back of the AP. In all of these instances, you will need a pin to access the reset button. We will now demonstrate the reset process. Make sure that your AP is powered off. Press the factory reset button and hold it pressed. You should hear a faint click and you will feel the button being pressed. While continuing to hold it, power up the AP. This may be a bit tricky and may require some dexterity and practice. This is how the reset light sequence should look. After you see some very fast green flashes, you need to keep on holding the reset button until you get three slow green flashes, about one second apart. 
This is how the light sequence looks if you accidentally let go of the reset button too soon. You'll note that there were no quick green flashes. If this happens, simply power down the AP and start again. If you're still having issues, it's time to reach out to Aruba support. Moving on from the amber light scenarios, if you get a solid red light after turning on an AP, it generally means the device has experienced a serious error during the boot up process. Try turning it off and on again. Next, try the factory reset procedure explained earlier in this video. If that fails to solve the issue, please contact Aruba support. If you are seeing a solid green light, then congratulations are in order. It means you have successfully discovered and configured the device and are now able to connect. For more information, please visit the library at instanton.club.